Hello, good morning, students. Welcome to final year, final semester. In this semester, we are going to learn new elective subjects under elective subject six. That is elective subject semester eight. Elective subject six. This subject is having uh, three lectures per week. There is no practical for this subject, and this subject is of hundred marks. So there will be uh, in same of thirty marks and in same of seventy marks. There will be assignments based on each unit for your practice. <clears throat> okay. So under that we have offered. two electives for your class one is green structures and smart cities and another one is rural water supply and sanitation uh, at this place its name is rural water supply and in the syllabus page the name reflected is rural water supply engineering so in general you can consider this as rural water supply and we will go to syllabus okay you can see the teaching scheme uh, as 3 hours per week three credit subject in same examination 30 marks in same examination 70 marks and then uh, in general as per the name of the subject is rural water supply it's not actually engineering it's related to planning so related to water supply engineering you have studied in uh, semester 5th i think uh, as per new syllabus you do have water supply engineering subject in the third year first semester okay in that uh, you might have studied various operation or processes required to treat the raw water which is supplied in the most of the urban areas treatment plant water treatment plant and uh, <clears throat> various methods or various steps that will convert water into potable water potable drinking water so that was related to urban water supply uh, how will, will will you differentiate urban water supply and rural water supply so urban water supply is a larger water supply system for larger population like taluka place or metropolitan cities like mumbai pune or any other you can take example from delhi to hyderabad chennai okay so the source of the uh, urban water supply will be from the uh, water will be taken from the canals nearby rivers nearby reservoirs and that is treated okay uh, before it is uh, supplied to the urban population but if you compare rural water supply here we are not considering engineering because uh, if we take example of transportation planning and transportation engineering there is slight difference between planning and engineering so this subject is more related to the planning so because in rural area the sources of water uh, water we can consider them as pure or most of the times the treatment is not required you can see around your self at your native place or in rural areas the water supply source are well bore wells or uh, even uh, some other water sur uh, surface water storage also so uh, they are less contaminated or polluted and in general uh, the wells will provide fresh water if it is uh, we can say uh, water is taken from the well on daily basis so ground water sources if they are not polluted then we can use it directly and in most of the taluka sorry in the rural areas or in the villages such schemes are in working some schemes are uh, need to be uh, 
maintained properly or maintenance parts are also there uh, so that we will see in the uh, respective units but in general you will see that we are going to see how rural water supply system is planned so we will see uh, course objectives course outcomes step by step so prerequisite means uh, subject uh, to study this subject which subjects knowledge is required in background so understanding of basic civil and environmental engineering so basic subjects or basic knowledge till now which you have covered is sufficient because uh, we uh, came to know or we are well aware about the uh, water supply systems in the rural areas uh, many of us has rural background we do visit many places in the rural area where we do come across such water supply systems so students will gain knowledge of techno economic issues related to water rural water supply rural word is very important because there is difference much difference between rural and urban water supply so students will uh, will study interdisciplinary aspects of water supply engineering so already you have studied uh, water supply engineering that is treatment part but here there is no requirement or there is no scope for treatment of water before and uh, whatever or other task are there related to the planning of facilities related to rural water supply that we will discuss starting from uh, various schemes ground water sources uh, how water is uh, pumped from the well or the source and that is taken to the uh, village and that is supplied or stored in the storage reservoir tank and that is supplied by the gravity to the villagers okay so all these uh, topics are covered through our six units so subject will make students understand administrative aspects related to water supply so administrative aspect means you must have seen that uh, sarpanch of the village or gram sevak plan uh, rural water supply through help of various administrative setups like panchayat samiti or mla or we can say jilla uh, parishad so uh, with the help of various schemes funds are made available for implementation of such schemes and through these schemes water is received to the villagers at their homes so if we consider a particular village where gauthan area is there people are staying at one place then such schemes will be more helpful but we, if we see many people are scattered they are staying by const constructing their houses in their fa uh, farms so they may be using their own source source of water from drinking from their well from their bore wells and uh, this facility of water supply will not be required for them but still uh, as a responsibility uh, the people who are staying in the villages uh, together in the gauthan area the local authority plans for the water supply system so course outcomes means after completion of this course you will be able to understand what you will be able to understand or what you will learn understand issues related to rural water supply with respect to source water related issues in rural water uh, sorry in rural areas so there may be different issues that if we construct or authority have constructed or did a well for water supply system that particular well may not have water in the summer so that is a reality so we need to plan uh, differently so that water will be available for that particular well so if you if you uh, can plan plan it properly then location of the well can be nearby to percolation tank where uh, water will be received by that particular well by percolation throughout the year or you can plan uh, pipeline or water supply scheme from the nearby river where water is available in the summer or from the any reservoir also so 
if the distance is longer from the reservoir you can plan for uh, four to five uh, gram panchayats together and you can have water supply scheme so that the expenditure will be shared and this facility will be under group gram panchayat okay so understand role of various government departments and importance of participatory approach so you can see that people's participation in such kind of rural area is very important and government also uh, plans various schemes uh, through different departments like as we discussed jilla parishad panchayat samiti or gsda that is uh, ground survey and development authority ground water survey and development authority their uh, work is to increase the ground water level depending upon the uh, rock strata in that particular area uh, the agriculture department also take efforts to increase or to store the surface water by constructing nala bonds uh, various watershed management methods okay so understand various types of rural water uh, water supply schemes and infrastructure requirements therein so we will be able to understand how uh, infrastructure required for the water supply scheme in the rural areas is planned so it is related to planning then understand interdisciplinary requirement in rural water supply including softwares so you can see uh, now as of now uh, most of the uh, systems are planned through scada software uh, which is uh, part of automation and manual intervention is not required much or, or even you can see that at our rooftop uh, water tank you can maintain the level of the water by uh, adding many sensors they will measure the water level they will automatically make on and off the pumping uh, motor also so that water level will be maintained in the esr so understand automation requirement for the water supply project so some machinery part related to fluid mechanics uh, will also be considered design of pipeline system different losses head required uh, the hp that is uh, size of the motor required considering the discharge or the volume of water to be pumped at a particular place then understand documentation and operation and maintenance issues related to water supply project including leak detection so there may be uh, many issues related to leak because the pipeline is uh, going through the farms and due to flowing operation or different agricultural operations sometimes uh, pipeline may get uh, break at some places so we have to maintain or we have to put the pipelines pvc pipelines at such depth that it will not get broke and again uh, there may be different leakages uh, due to in the joints in the air walls so that we need to uh, understand through different sophisticated instruments we can measure such leakages so in the unit number 1 introductory part is there you can see uh, here source which was population example 2000 ground water more than 2000 surface introduction to reservation of water permissions of concerned authorities to lift from the notified river water related issues in rural areas okay so reservation of water means what in particular any uh, reservoir or any uh, water body particular amount of water is reserved for the drinking purpose so if you are using it for irrigation purpose then up to certain limit they will allow to lift the water but afterwards at the end a particular amount of water will be reserved for the drinking purpose because our priority is for drinking water supply first or providing the water supply to the population for drinking purpose and afterwards if water is more we can provide it for the irrigation purpose so to lift water from any uh, such water body we need to take permission from the respective authorities maybe with the tahsildar maybe irrigation department lagu part bandare office or uh, 
there may be uh, irrigation department in case of some large reservoirs so water related issues in rural areas you can see there are so many issues that uh, can be solved with the participation of people or cooperation of people is required for the smooth working of these schemes then water supply scheme for single gram panchayat group gram panchayat that we discuss single gram panchayat sathi aplyala scheme plan karaycha asel tar kay karava lagel we are uh, considering population of that particular gram panchayat and if the source of water is at longer distance or if you are adding uh, water treatment plant also then you can go for group gram panchayat water supply scheme also so that the expenditure will be shared and such larger water treatment plant will also be uh, financially justified so geology certificate from the gsda why geology certificate is required because at many places we are investing much amount and at that place if ground water is not there then it will not be of any use so we need to understand the hydrology of the ground water hydrology and the ground water levels in that particular area so uh, gsda department is uh, associated with the development of uh, ground water we can see this website gsda here you can see artificial recharge aquifer level ground water management rain water harvesting shiva kalin pani satvan yojana you can see more reports major many projects they conducted here you can see projects okay functions so geology and its relation with the ground water you see that the rain water or water cycle that after precipitation of precipitation water percolates in the ground considering the topography geology of the area soil strata and some water uh, flows as a runoff and that get accumulated in the uh, percolation tanks or the in the reservoirs so strengthening of the source strengthening means or you have to strengthen the source of water means you have to add more water in the ground by various techniques like introduction to rain water harvesting so urban rain water harvesting is different and rural rain water harvesting is different you can harvest the rain water in rural areas by constructing small nala bands various cement bandaras or various uh, loose boulder structures there are uh, various techniques related to uh, watershed management that is a separate detail subject that you can see from the agricultural department website so you can have horizontal bore ata tumhi vertical bore baddal aiklela hai horizontal bore kay asel tar vertical bore uh, we can consider likewise a small well or uh, the bore way bore well uh, drilling taken in the vertical direction from the surface of the earth but in case of horizontal bore if you can you can take such horizontal bores in the well at the bottom so that some water from nearby areas can be collected in the well so even hydro fracturing is one technique you can see hydro fracturing means we are fracturing the rock structure inside the earth surface so that more cavities or gaps will be uh, develop and water can percolate inside the surface so we can have rain water harvesting through the bore wells to the wells or through watershed management structures uh, you can even uh, see that in case of uh, many villages uh, nala saralikaran or nala kholikaran asha prakar cha bharpur scheme suru zalele ahe आणि त्या पद्धतीने त्या भागातला पावसा पावसाचं पाणी जे आहे ते त्या भागामध्येच मुरवण्याचं काम हे साठवण्याचं काम हे चालू आहे आणि त्याने बऱ्यापैकी ग्राउंड वॉटर लेवल वाढलेली आहे सो वेल सिंकिंग वेल सिंकिंग मीन्स इन केस ऑफ सँडी सॉईल यू कॅन सी दॅट इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कन्स्ट्रक्ट दी वेल्स ओके 
because of uh, sand coming inside the well after digging so you can see the in course of uh, river or river bank there is uh, sand at much depth so in that case uh, well sinking technique is used we will discuss separately on that particular topic unconventional methods by gsda retrofitting of schemes retrofitting means uh, like uh, maintenance rejuvenation uh, the schemes which are in uh, are not in working we can make them in working conditions by having some maintenance having some corrections so use of v folds v folds you must have seen in case of embankment walls the v folds are provided small pipes are added to the uh, all con constructed all or any structures in the wells also so that water percolated in the ground water will be coming inside the well or through the surface of the uh, vertical surface uh, that water can be relieved and we can have uh, reduction in the pressure inside the wall also and as well as there will be addition of water into well yield state uh, yield is top open well you can see that the quantity of water that is available in the well can be tested so you can have uh, pumping of water from the well we, we can measure the amount of water uh, pump or how much for how much time that particular motor is uh, pumping the water or how much time is required to uh, all the water outside that particular well and similarly you can measure how much quantity of water is available on the next day so you can see that how much quantity of water is coming on the next day inside the well and depending on that you can plan or you can decide the source of water or quantity of water available with that particular source so tube and bore well you can see uh, hand pumps are there you uh, you can see the working of hand pump how water is lifted from the ground water to the surface of the earth by using hand pumps and similarly to wells bore wells we can take uh, or we, we drill the bore wells maybe from 100 to 500 uh, feet below the ground and actually the water percolated uh, yearly or which infiltrated in, into the ground is generally available up to 100 feet only below the 100 feet the water percolated uh, in earlier years is available but the quantity of water as we go deeper decreases but people feel that as we go down water quantity more water quantity will be available so in a similar case you can see that as of now there are various techniques to pumping the water to drill to bore to take the bore wells to construct the uh, wells you can see in 2 3 days uh, well can be constructed by using uh, such exca larger excavators up to 50 ft uh, and of smaller size like 30 ft in diameter but in earlier days the techniques were different the instruments available were different and even you can see uh, in earlier days in case of we can say uh, if we discuss in the period of about in the period of chhatrapati shivaji maharaj also uh, they have constructed uh, various forts and you can see that shivakalin pani satvan yojana so they have stored the water on the forts by excavating wells or we can say uh, tanks on the uh, forts and that particular excavated rocks were used for the construction of forts so if we visit uh, siyagad urandar or even uh, raigad on various forts you can see that the rain water is stored on that particular fort and that is utilized throughout the year because that time lifting water from the uh, ground water was not also possible or water level in the summer may not be sufficient to take the water 
uh, for the whales but they have stored it and used it for the year then water quality and quantity these are the different two terms water quality you can see that uh, related to turbidity related to ph you can see the quality of the water the parameters which we which we will consider for the drinking water supply will be like ph turbidity tds okay so by using uh, various instruments you can measure the quality of the water and quantity in terms of mld million liters per day generally the uh, capacity of treatment plant or water supply scheme is measured in terms of million liters mld million liters per day so if we go ahead in unit number 2 you can see socio economic aspect of water supply schemes so various departments in all in the water conservation you can see agriculture department participatory approach of for success of the project you can see the example of many villages like ivre bazar uh, then uh, raligan siddhi or uh, there are uh, various villages almost in one uh, each taluka place they have successfully overcome uh, over the issues related to ground water they have taken efforts and they have shifted from drought prone area or dry land agriculture to the orchards or they have planted more uh, fruit bearing trees in their farms and their income has been increased and even they have become self sufficient related to water supply uh, drinking water supply or in other way in many uh, villages you see that the tankers are provided for the drinking water purpose uh, in case of drought manje ekhadya varshi paus nahi padla tar tumhala dusrya kutla tari source varun tanker madun pani anla jata and that is given for the drinking purpose so you see that the water given by the tankers will not be sufficient but if we make our villages uh, self sufficient or if we take some measures to increase the water level in our area then more water will be available for our uh, drinking purpose as well as for the agriculture purpose so financial schemes available with the departments case studies you can see uh, there are various schemes through uh, maharashtra jivan pradhikaran is one of the authority working here you can see mjp uh, financial schemes available with the departments uh, so agriculture department or uh, panchayat samiti jilla parishad are taking efforts so that water supply is available with the rural population drinking water supply so you can see the case studies of uh, palsoshi bhor hivre bazar uh, lakmani lamkhani dule available with the mjp so capacity building of the villagers we can see that there are various uh good qualities with the villagers with contribution with cooperation we can build a team for the benefit of our village and we can take various uh works we can execute various works participatory works by uh, taking help of government schemes so various types of rural water uh, water supply schemes various types of rural water supply schemes introduction to single village scheme introduction to regional uh, rural water supply scheme use of available infrastructure if any retrofitting of available infrastructure various components and layout of water supply scheme score depth calculation for well on bank of river bed uh, you have studied what is score depth in the bridge engineering uh, in the river bed related to river bed and flow of water you can see the Uh, importance of this term score depth then intake jack well pump house you can see the water is to be pumped from the river or reservoir you have to construct a jack well uh, or a well inside that particular reservoir or nearby to the bank of the reservoir river where you can take water throughout the year and you can have access of that particular point by constructing small bridge or way uh, from the bank of the river okay you can see the example of uh, 
pumping station of saswad nagar parishad or saswad city inside the uh, weir dam near to nira or you can see the uh, pumping station of baramati mdc which is uh, in uzni reservoir okay near kurkum i will show you the location सॉरी कुरकुम वरती है हाईवे कुंभार गाँव कुंभार गाँव इज ऑन दी बैंक्स ऑफ उज नीरिज रिवर एंड हियर यू कैन सी पंपिंग स्टेशन इज लाइक दिस सो दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड दी एसेस एंड वॉटर इज लिफ्टेड फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस ओके दिस इज वन पंपिंग स्टेशन यू कैन सी हियर one another pumping station for built built a company hai hoga supply in the pur highway la solapur highway la so you can see that location of this pumping station or pumping well is inside the river so you can have access of water for throughout the year so location is such that it will provide water throughout the year tumhi hech jar ekdam kade la banle ta kay hoil water level jashi kami hot jail तो तो चैनल तैयार करा लगे खोदा लगे कि पानी मिलना नहीं सो दिस इज पंपिंग स्टेशन एंड वॉटर इज लिफ्टेड फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस यू कैन सी दी पाइपलाइन्स अलॉन्ग दी दिस बारामती शेटपड़गढ़ हाईवे ऑल्सो ये कड़े तुम्हारा पाइपलाइन दिता बो दैट पर्टिक्युलर पाइपलाइन इज सप्लाइंग वॉटर टू दी एम आई डी सी एरिया okay so similar kind of uh, pumping station you can have uh, for different villages so you will see that in usni reservoir there are uh, so many pumping stations for nearby villages then uh, slotted pipe galleries trench galleries percolation well connecting mains uh, recuperation test owners responsibility introduction to rising mains gravity main introduction to wtp sr esr gsr mbr introduction to distribution including house connection ferrolo ferrole means up to house which infrastructure is required or how water is supplied from esr to the each house that we will discuss in detail so interdisciplinary aspect of rural water supply introduction to uh, go through this <clears throat> content of unit number 4 for a minute okay introduction to electromechanical aspect pumping machinery source intake wtp esr introduction to hydraulic testing of pipelines hydraulic testing so this is related to testing of pipelines hydraulic pressure then again uh, discharge capacity losses that we can see source conveyance selection of rising mains and its appurtenances to control water hammer after closing of the water at one place you will see that there is a generation of backward waves and which creates pressure pressure on the pipeline so that is water hammer in case of uh, hydroelectric power plants also you can see the when the water is uh, water flow is stopped in the water treatment sorry water 
uh, electricity generation plant or hydro electricity plant, plant then the backward wave is generated and to relieve that particular pressure <coughs> surge wells are constructed you can take the example of koina reservoir so <coughs> these are for the larger schemes then flow air locks you can see that uh, air may get entrapped into the pipeline so to relieve the uh, air we can provide the air walls on the pipeline so introduction to pumps and pumping machinery you can see there are various types of pumps and the mechanical devices required for the pumping of the water uh, centrifugal pumps are used as of now you can see that submersible pumps are also used submersible pumps means that you can add it into the water itself or the centrifugal pumps which are on the ground surface and that will pump the water from the uh, reservoir or from the well so that we will discuss in detail in respective lecture so calculation of hours of power required so depending upon the quantum of water to be pumped you can see the output of the uh, pump and accordingly you have to decide how much hours we run the motor to, to have discharge of particular amount of quantity of water <clears throat> so requirements of electric supply three phase three phase one single phase ka asta pan te pan bugat then availability of es software programs for design of economical diameter of rem techno economic comparison of various pipe materials uh, rem gravity main as well as distribution lines so <clears throat> we will see different softwares are also used for planning of all these activities or working efficiently working maintenance of all these systems uh, different pipe materials are available i have posted one uh, video uh, related to pipe materials on our uh, group as well as i will provide all the details in our google classroom also you refer all the videos links provided on our uh, group for your understanding i have provided almost 20 to 30 video links and references related to various websites of government departments and their schemes projects so requirement of uh, residual hydraulic pressure calculation of hydraulic grade line you can see the hydraulic grade line total energy line uh, the concepts from the or frictional head the concepts from the flow through pipes fluid mechanics with total head acting on the pump introduction to jalatantra software from iit bombay so iit bombay uh has developed this software related to which will be used for our rural water supply okay <clears throat> then unit number 5 instrumentation in water supply engineering so which different instruments can be used introduction to auto pump controller you can see the motor which is uh, installed in our house also in urban areas also uh that may have at a controller paniyachi uh, level kami jali kiwa taki madhe paniyachi level tevdi jali tar ti pump chalu hu shakto varti asr asel tya tikani sudha paniyachi level tevde khali geli tar tya padhatine automatic motor chalu karun pani varti lift karu shakto apan tya padhatine paniyachi level ti particular reach jali ki motor hi automatic stop hoil mhanje tumhala manually bagayachi garaj nahi taki var bharli ka nahi he bagayachi garaj nahi so that will uh, be controlled by using the different sensors so sensors uh, for water quality monitoring cycle ph then turbidity meter tds meter total dissolved solids then ph you know alkali and acids then ultrasonic level sensor level sensor is also important we need not measure the levels the devices will uh, note the levels of any reservoir and automatically you will get the readings so even such kind of level sensors are available on each reservoir also to control the floods 
so hydraulic modeling modeling you can have in different softwares like hecras use of uh, instrumentation and robotics in wss so you can see that there are various latest developments and various applications will be useful to reduce load of work use of scada software scada is one of the automation software by we can operate whole plant with the help of this system automatic system one person can take care of working of all the operations introduction uh, introduction to scada based automation you can see such uh, softwares are used in auto treatment plant in the hydroelectric power plant or many more uh, projects so plc in wsc that we will see in detail applications of gps in water supply engineering gps is related to global positioning system that is uh, that will decide latitude or longitude of one particular place and uh, gps is having uh, applications in transportation to decide the location similarly we will see how it is applied in case of water supply engineering applications of gis in water supply engineering gis is nothing but preparation of good maps we can have uh, interpretation properly through remote sensing images and we can uh, use it in gis to prepare different maps to plan the water supply schemes for a particular village so there are various applications of remote sensing gis also so introduction to the water meter you can see the quantity of water to be supplied to each household can be measured and accordingly they can be charged or in in uh, some rural areas water meters are not there but in urban areas water meters are there in rural areas they will provide the water for particular period of time in some common places if it is not provided up to the each house or to have proper uh, financial feasibility or financial viability we can have water meters to the each individual so that we can measure the losses also you can have the audit of the water pump and water utilized and accordingly you can charge properly those who are using more water can be charged accordingly and those who are using less water can be charged less so case study of malkapur town i have posted uh, some videos on this malkapur town water supply scheme go through the videos uh, this is one of the uh, small town from the satara district uh, documentation of presentation a record drawing of executed works as bill drawings you can see that if you are planning for something you need to have drawings you are you need to have proper plan so periodical maintenance of pumping machinery electrical components and other machinery training requirements to villagers on operation and maintenance issues you see that there are various uh, manpower related issues because unless and until the operator is properly trained uh, he will not able to uh, deliver his duties properly or plan all the services properly so training is also given introduction to preventive maintenance manje kai सिग्नल दिसले तुम्हाला की त्या अडचण येणार आहे हा पार्ट खराब होत आहे यू कॅन हॅव प्रॉपरली इन्स्पेक्शन यू कॅन हॅव मेंटेनन्स सो दॅट द सिस्टीम विल वर्क फॉर लॉंगर ड्युरेशन लिकेज डिटेक्शन इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टंट आस्पेक्ट बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ मेनी स्कीम्स द लिकेज इज मोर अँड इन दॅट केस द वेस्टेज वी कॅन से इज मोर अँड सो वी नीड टू स्टॉप द लिकेज सो वेरियस टेक्निक्स इज various techniques are used to detect the techniques and we can have corrective action so you can see the reference books textbooks water supply engineering by skegar by p n modi then you can go through this manual i have provided this this manual on our group for your help c p h e e o manual on water supply then rural water supply and sanitation by sanjo gupta this is one another book by <clears throat> data sorry uh, i w w a technical data book special reference material recommended unnat maharashtra abhiyan that we will see 
so which activities are conducted under unnat maharashtra abhiyan and accordingly uh, how we can support for the rural water supply you can see here uh, i have posted a lot of videos for your reference you go through all these videos that will prepare you for the preparation of this subject okay so this was introductory lecture uh, we will discuss each topic in our further lectures so we will stop here for today thank you good day